Hello students. So in the last lecture, we were talking about the time dependent Schrodinger equation. And I told you all that this equation cannot be derived. It's an postulate. So, but we have seen that how Schrodinger might have guessed by taking an example of the wave function of a plane wave. And I took and we saw that we got the momentum operator, we got the energy operator and then using the expression for the total energy, we got Schrodinger time dependent equation. Now moving further, we can in this lecture try to see the solutions of this equation. Okay, so let us start with that. Okay, so what I will do once again we want to write the time dependent Schrodinger equation. Okay, this is I h cross del psi by del t is equal to minus h cross square by 2 m del 2 psi by del x square plus potential energy V psi x t. This is our Schrodinger's time dependent equation. Now let us try to solve this for a special class of solutions. Let us try to solve this for a special class of solutions. Okay. So, what I can take? Let me take, we will see that these solutions satisfy this equation. Psi x t is equal to psi x and phi t. So, basically I am using the method of variable separable. Okay. So, I am trying to see or trying to separate the position dependence and the time dependence. Okay. So, let us try with this psi x t whether it satisfies the Schrodinger equation or not. Okay. Now, if I substitute, let me put this as equation 1 and putting this solution in equation 1, what do I get? I h cross del by del t. Instead of psi x t, I will get psi x and phi t okay, is equal to minus h cross square by 2 m del 2 by del x square instead of psi x t I put psi x phi t ok. So, we have to take the double derivative with respect to x plus v x psi x and phi t ok. Now, what do I do? This is a partial derivative with respect to t ok. So, when I do the time derivative with respect to t, psi x is a constant for it. So, I can get i h cross psi x outside and I get del phi t by del t is equal to minus h cross square by 2 m del 2 by del x square. Again, here phi t is independent of x. So, it will come out of the derivative phi t sorry plus this remains the same v x psi x phi t ok let me name this as equation 3 now what do I do in this equation I divide the whole equation by psi x and phi t what do I get on the left hand side when I divide I will get 1 upon phi t here on the right hand side in the first term I will get 1 upon psi x del 2 psi x by del x square and here I will get only v x. So, let me write that by dividing the equation by 
equation by psi x and phi t on both the sides what do I get on the left hand side I will get i h cross 1 upon phi t del phi t by del t this is equal to minus h cross square by 2 m 1 upon psi x del 2 psi x by del x square plus v x now what do I observe that both the functions on left hand side they and the right hand side here on the left hand side it is totally dependent only on t is a function of t alone and on the right hand side it is completely a function of x alone so obviously these two things these two functions they have to be equal to constants because a function of t alone cannot have only x dependence and vice versa okay so they have to be equal to constant taking this constant as e okay what do I get from first left hand side is equal to e if I write I get i h cross del phi t by del t this is equal to phi t I take on the right hand side I get e phi t so can you see what do I get the energy operator acting on phi and what is the energy operator i h cross del by del t already we have seen this this is my equation number one second from second the right hand side becoming equal to e what do I write minus h cross square by 2 m del 2 psi x upon del x square I am operating psi x on the full equation okay v x psi x is equal to e of psi x so do you see what do I get here this is the momentum operator acting on psi plus potential energy is equal to total energy okay so I get this too now when I write the solution of these two equations what do I get here what do I get these two equations from time independent Schrodinger equation and this two the time dependence is all contained here in equation number one and this is only position dependent this is only x dependent and this equation is known as time independent Schrodinger equation okay because there is no time dependence here now this is basically so when I write the solutions from the first equation that is I h cross del phi t by del t is equal to e phi t the solution what do I get is phi t is equal to phi naught e to power minus i e t upon h cross this you all know this is the solution of this and from the second equation that is Schrodinger's time independent equation that equation is obeyed by functions of definite energy e the equation min sorry minus h cross square by 2m del 2 psi x upon del x square plus v x psi x is equal to e of psi x okay this was my first equation I get the solution here and the solution this was my second equation and the solution this equation is obeyed by by functions of definite energy e 
because E is the total energy of the particle. So I can write my solution psi of x is equal to psi of E x. These are the solutions for definite energy. So now when I write these two solutions together, so what was my initial wave function? Psi of x and t. This I started and I wrote this as psi x into phi t. Now when I combine these two solutions, what do I get? Psi naught, it's a constant I can absorb minus i e t. Sorry, I have missed a t here. i e t upon h cross psi of e x. These are the solutions for my equation. Okay. And in this, we got a very important result that is time independent Schrodinger equation which we use, which we can use for many applications. Now, in, there is a very important point to note down here is that in quantum case, though there is a time dependence, yes, you can see it here, the time dependence comes from the exponential part. Exponential e to the power minus i e t by h cross. Now, if I try to see any physical observable and I try to find the probability density of finding the particle, how do I do that? If I try to see the probability density, the probability density of that is probability of finding the particle density probability of finding the particle the particle that would be given by p x t this is equal to mod of psi x t whole square and then when I try to find this that for all the physical observables if I try to find this what do I get e to power minus i e t upon h cross psi e x mod square correct because the what this is what the solution I get now what is this when I take the mod square of this you all know this is 1 the exponential of the e to power minus i theta whatever and then what is what do I get psi e x mod square now what is this that it is time independent the probability of finding the particle of all the physical observables whether there is a despite the time dependence these are time independent that in quantum case despite the time dependence all the physical observables all the physical observables will be time independent wow this is a very nice result time in the Dependent. And if I try to find the probability for the for a particle to have a definite momenta, what will I observe that the probability of finding the momenta will also be the probability will be time independent. That is why these states are called as stationary states. The probability one can check. Okay, you can check this. The probability the probability of finding a momenta p momentum p at time t time t is when you try to find p that was position okay that is time independent and when you do with that momenta when you try to find this that is also it is given by the coefficients okay that has i have not discussed uh, the states of definite moment i have not discussed okay maybe we'll see later so this also is you can see one can check that it is time independent then that is why such states are called as stationary states that is it does not change with time 
stationary states okay so we got a very nice results now so we got taking the from the time dependent schrodinger equation we found the time independent schrodinger equation and the time dependence was contained in the exponential piece okay and then we saw that for all the physical observables in quantum case it is time though there is a time dependence but still all the phys the probability density of finding the particle is time independent similarly the probability density of finding the momenta is also time independent and such kind of states are called as stationary states okay so now in the further lectures we'll try to solve some toy problems okay in which we'll try to see how to find the eigen states or the energy of a particle of a quantum particle or if we have some potential barrier how do we find the energy whether the how do we find whether the particle is there or not we'll try to see many very beautiful examples okay thank you